Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it seems that Microsoft's head of Windows and Web Experiences is asking for some input regarding the future of some of the aspects and components in the Windows OS, because as I've been posting, there have been reports and suggestions that Microsoft is going to be focusing this year on the new version or next generation of Windows. And even yesterday, I posted that um, Microsoft over on X in response to a question regarding the start menu had said that they need to make the start menu in Windows great again because as an example and as many of you will know moving on from Windows 10 to Windows 11 Microsoft uh, excluded some of the basic functions that are found in the Windows 10 start menu which are not included in the Windows 11 start menu and I'll leave that video down below if you would like more info now just to basically just do a quick follow-up to that video i posted yesterday because once again microsoft's head of windows over on x has asked for input where a, a poll was conducted a couple of days ago on the 31st of december and the question was asked i'm asking all kinds of questions for my resolution list which ux framework in windows should we invest more in and as we can see the majority of users want Microsoft, 63.1 of them, want Microsoft to invest more in the WinUR3 framework. Now, just to break this down so you can understand this a little bit more in case you're unaware what some of this terminology is all about. First of all, if you're asking the question, what is a UX framework? Basically, a quick summary of that would be that it's a design framework that helps designers create consistent products, websites, or applications. So basically, that's what a UX framework is. Now, if you're asking the question, what is a WinUR3 uh, UX framework? Basically, a quick breakdown of WinUR is it stands for, obviously, Windows User Interface. And WinUR is backward compatible with earlier versions of Windows 10 and Windows 11 because unlike UWP, which stands for universal windows platform which is um, only compatible with windows 10 devices as mentioned um when when you are is backward compatible so as an example with when you are three you can build and ship apps with new features without waiting for um users to run the latest windows updates and when you are uh, it's also broadly available for developers to use so as another example, it makes it easier to build apps because it adapts automatically to a user's operating system version. So basically, that's what WinUR3 is, and that's why the majority want Microsoft to invest more in um, the WinUR3 framework. Now, WinUR is basically the Windows user interface um, incorporates in Windows 11, as, a, as an example, the Fluent Design System into different controls and styles so as an example you get uh, the fluent design is the rounded corners are found in the start menu uh, the context menus just to mention one or two examples and um, when you are provides basically consistent experiences using the latest user interface UI pattern so that's more or less what most users want microsoft to focus on uh, for this year when you are three and interestingly enough uh, in the same uh, comments, it was asked, why aren't all the options when you are three? And Microsoft gave an interesting answer. It was said that when you are three is certainly our preferred way to build premier advanced UI user interface. And we found, fund it accordingly. But my view is we should continue supporting, developing, and enhancing popular frameworks that people use. So although m most users want Microsoft to focus on when you are three, it is said, yeah, though, that they will continue supporting, developing, and enhancing popular frameworks that people use. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, where this all lands up, um, if this will be their main focus, according to uh, this poll. But like all things with Microsoft, as I've mentioned previously, only time will tell. And obviously, if I do get any info regarding um, what framework Microsoft will eventually um, focus on, maybe for the next generation or the future version of Windows, I'll post and let you guys know accordingly. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.